What's up guys, it's me, Jesse, and we are back with more Tower of God content. We're actually here with a power ranking. I was actually asked by Supermax to look at his tier list and look at this. Uh, I know I've tried to, uh, I've at least said I would try to shy away from uh, power ranking reviews in the past. Um, it's because A, uh, a you know, they can, they can get a little mean and I don't want to make that, you know, my whole thing. But also... You got you got to understand with these power rankings that you know you can make fun of these all you want. I can make fun of these all I want. I can I can make jokes and be and you know be a little mean about it or or support it or whatever, but one day I'm going to be the one with the power ranking. And I'm going to be the one that that's getting crapped all over. I'm going to be the one who has people in my comments Telling me how dumb some of this is, or people reacting to how dumb some of my choices are, and I'm very sure, I'm very sure if I ever made one, um, it would be incomprehensible. It's really, it really is like abnormally difficult to make a Tower of God power ranking, just because SIU has so many, so many intricacies, plot conveniences, and stuff with with the powers. Um, but since you asked, Super Max, I will check this one out. Um, and I, I took a little look at it earlier, and I was something I was really happy to see was a lot of was a lot of like super minor characters in here i just think that's i think that's really fun so let's go ahead and check out uh what this is and uh to anyone watching uh just know that um i don't think audio is going to show up in this recording uh just know that there's no audio like narration or anything it's just a, a slideshow with like a character name a number for their power and um music in the background so let's let's check this out let's check this out let's see what we do okay Oh, I I also just want to say there's good mu bomb five. All right, all right. So let's let's pause here already. All right, bomb five. Know that this is like this is like start bomb, and I think that's valid. Suppressed Evan is it? Oh, and you know what? You know what's kind of nice. This isn't in order, so it's gonna be harder for me to remember who's stronger than what. Heavily suppressed Yuri is at five hundred. Now, we have a lot of these heavily suppressed and, like, suppressed in here. I, I think, um, I think that's kind of cheating, personally. I mean, they can hypothetically suppress themselves as much as they want. Urek uses an anklet. He can make his power completely masked. He could, he could suppress himself to one if he wanted to, but obviously we know his power is, like, nine trillion. Um, but Yuri is... Yuri heavily, I mean, yeah, she can, she, hypothetically, maybe she could suppress her power to 500. Um, she can she can make it anything below her maximum if she really wanted to. Now, is that Evan I saw? Now, suppressed Evan at 300. I, I think if we were, like, normally seeing Evan, I still think 300 would be a low ball for him. And I, obviously, you know, I, I'm assuming Yuri is powerful enough to control her suppression to such a point that she can make it down to 500. Frankly, I don't even know if Evan could, like, do that. But I think I think suppressed Evan would, would still be much higher. I mean, he's, like, he's he's a high ranker. He's he's going to be, like, Evan and Yuri both are going to be, like, infinitely more powerful than, than Bomb. Um, Bomb is at 5. Now, Bomb with Black March at 50. Now, this is still... This is this is still a low ball, I think. Even if he just has the Black March, you have to remember that he was able to ignite the Black March, and that's gonna make him really strong, regardless of whether or not he like knows anything about Shinsu yet. He was still a I, even when he wasn't igniting it, I, I, he was still able to like stab the eel, um, and and I think I think that actually shows like more than a fifty. You know, I, I know it was like a cheap shot, but I still think it takes a little bit of toughness to like get through what he did in, in the eel's mouth and stuff now we have suppressed lira row at 30 i so you again you can suppress anyone I, honestly i'm just gonna skip the suppressed ones ho at 17.5 now here we get some granularity and i have to agree with supermax on that um also, uh, just want to plug it, like, we love Tower of God content creators. Go ahead and check out this video yourself and give him some views. Leave a like if you agree with this stuff. Because, um, you know, I mean, he's, he's sitting at 19 views right now. Come on, guys, we can get this up. Um, but 17.5, um, give him a subscription, too. Uh, he's, he's, done a, he's done a second one. He's, he's done a season two one, and I, I haven't looked at that yet. 17.5 for Ho. Ho is definitely very weak. Um, maybe. 
I could I could see it if we're going with like a super low power system, then like seventeen point five I think I, I think that's acceptable. Lore suppressed at two hundred. Now, I do not think that Lore suppresses himself. I I don't think this exists. Unknown archer at thirty one. Oh wait, we we skipped we skipped the unknown fighter. Oh man, this guy is quick. Unknown fighter at twenty five. Now we're saying that the unknown fighter at twenty. Wait, we're saying suppressed Lirero. Are we really saying? Oh, I skipped Serena as well. We're saying suppressed Lirero. Is is weaker than bomb with the black march. That would honestly mean that Lirero is so good at suppressing himself that his unsuppressed form would be like twenty million, if he can get his power to like less than twice that of hose uh the unknown archer at 31 i mean a lot of these guys it's like pretty low they might be stronger than ho i don't know serena at 13 i think this is perfectly valid kun aguero agnes oh 11 at 36 whoa okay kun aguero agnes at 45 now this is still this is still i i think if we see great family members looking like this I think this is massively lowballing them in general. Um, Kuhn already has the body of a great family member that grants him superior physical strength. He is more powerful. Th I, now, to his credit, he said he said Aguero is more powerful than a suppressed Lira Ro. So, you know that that definitely means Kuhn's got something special going on. But I I think Kuhn is going to be a little more powerful than this. But he is still one of the most powerful characters we've seen so far on this list. Let's keep going. This guy actually fits a lot in here, and that's nice. I'm actually going to lower this because the music is loud. Um, it's it's pretty good music, by the way. I, I think I said that already, but it is. 11 at 36. Now, here we go. 11 at 36 is more powerful than suppressed Lero Ro. Now, we remember that scene in the anime. We remember that scene in the anime where, where Levin takes aim at Lero Ro. If Lero Ro was suppressing himself too much, Levin could have won that. Levin could have won. Remember that, guys. Um, being more powerful than the archer at 31. Okay, yeah. He also has a sniper. I actually think having a gun probably gives you a pretty big advantage um, in, in this floor, you know, at least until you get your training. I wonder if I wonder if he does this to, like, see his characters later. Now, Unknown Fighter 2 at 32. Ayakun is still significantly stronger in this, so, yeah, well, why not? Suppressed Anok Jr., at 285. Now, see, this is where we get... This is where we get into some, some good stuff. Suppressed it... I, I don't know what her unsuppressed form is going to look like. But, I mean, this makes her, you know, with her, with her bastardized princess blood, this is going to make her significantly more powerful than anyone. It's going to make her multiples more powerful than even, like, Aguero that we've met so far. So I think this is good. I think this is fine. Um... Rack at 82. All right. Ah, uh, this is this is this is difficult. It's and it's like you gotta think back to like their season one forms too. Definitely in physical strength, Rack is gonna clap everybody. But is he is he that much more powerful than Aguero? I am not prepared to say there is that big of a difference between him and Aguero. I think we're I, I think we're gonna have to put Aguero up. And I guess I I, I like I I would put Aguero around like. Probably like the, well, I, I'd raise Anok too, but I put Aguero probably like above like seventy or something, but then I would put Rack slightly above that if we're if we're just going off of like season one. Rack is a pretty strong dude. Aguero doesn't have that much skill yet. All right, now this, all right, this this I think I have a bit of an issue with. Um, I see where he's going with this because he wants him to be. I I think. Max, you wanted to be close to Anok, and I respect that. I respect that because they did fight on somewhat even terms. Uh, on somewhat even terms, um, in this in this challenge. But when we look at Hots and Aguero, Hots is not going to beat Aguero even on the second floor. Aguero, we ra we have to remember Aguero does have that great family body. He has a huge advantage. Even if Hots is a well-trained swordsman, and even on like even in Name Hunt Station, even much later on, you know they're even though they're, like they're not they're not fighting 
seriously, but Hatsu was definitely more serious, and he was not able to do that good of a job against Aguero. Um, that's much later. I probably shouldn't even be bringing that into this, but I, I think we're highballing Hatsu here in relative terms. Now, Ship Lisu. Now I just want to. I just want to respect the use of Ship Lisu instead of Shibizu. Um, I respect that. Nine. Maybe. I think we're actually underselling Shibizu a little bit here. Um, I think he should be. I think he should be tied with Serena. I actually think he should be a little bit above Serena. Um, I think the only thing that's putting Serena up in this case is like a knife. But I mean, he's he, he's able to hold off Serena and another guy in the crown game for for an okay amount of times. So honestly, like Shibizu, maybe might be like a 17 or something. I don't know, like 17 maximum if we're going by like this power scale. And of course, if you guys have your own thoughts, you know, please put this in the comments. Lira now less suppressed. Now this is this is what I love because he's still suppressed, but he's a little less suppressed. 88. We're still massively lowballing him. That's that's fair. Now, hidden potential bomb with 106. I think this is just bomb at the wall test. Bomb did not get any stronger. Nothing, nothing happened. So, at this point in the story, like we're still, we're we're still at five bomb. Hidden potential bomb is not a thing. Adapting ship. Okay, see, this is like, all right. I, I under I, I think I understand the thought process here, and I think it's a cool thought process to kind of chart out their power level growth. Max has done something I have not seen anyone do in a in a power ranking before, which is put a time series of power. I don't think that the timing is quite right in this instance, personally. But this is a really cool idea, and I think I think this would be this would actually be super cool to um this would be super cool to, to like make a make a big video on for like characters over the course of the story. That'd be awesome. I do not believe that Lisu adapted here. Um, like nobody nobody got any stronger. This was like literally right after the test. Nobody got any stronger between you know in like the thirty minutes or an hour that that passed between this. Oh, but okay. So he does eventually put he does eventually put him over Serena. So that's that's based. That's based. Now heavily suppressed Hansung at 422. Now that's that's interesting that heavily suppressed Hansung is actually more powerful. Wait, it was more powerful than Yuri. I think Yuri only had it. I think Yuri was heavily suppressed. I'm gonna have to find it. What was the eel at? Oh, the big fish at 2A. Eh? How did I miss that? Um, okay, no, it was it was 500. For some reason, I thought it was 300. The big fish. <laughs> 280 I think is fair um well 280 might be fair but we we run into the issue where like Hatsu is really like pretty close to that also I don't think Hatsu is that much powerful more powerful than Iraq now that I'm thinking about that too okay so we have heavily suppressed Hansung suppressed quant at 68 again these suppressions it's like how do you know what what suppressed looks like Suppressed Hua Reun at 77. All right. This might be a bit of a hot take. I I don't think Hua Reun was suppressing herself here. Um, Hua Reun does not show significant growth between her iteration here and in Season 2 in the Workshop Battle. Uh, she uses pretty much the same skills. Um... And there's really nothing to suggest that she's, like, not using her guide powers in this at all. Uh, maybe she's, like, putting herself on the line a little bit. Um, but I, I don't, like, maybe she really is, like, I don't know how hard she's throwing this fight. I don't know about, so I, I think she is still more powerful than 77. But I don't think, she, I don't think she's suppressing herself. Now, Khan, I love that Khan is in this video. 22. I have no issue with that. He might be stronger than like a 30 though, but he is low. He's he's low down there. Day Day Concho at 17. I think we are underselling Day Day Concho. Day Day Concho chopped a guy's arm off in the first test. A lot of people can mistake that for Hots. Um, 
I hope a lot of people did. I hope I'm not just that stupid. Dady Concho chopped a guy's arm off in the in the last test. I may, you know, of course, probably got lucky. Um, but I think he actually is a little bit more powerful. I think he's uh, at least at Khan's level. Now here we go, less suppressed Anok Jr. at 300. All right, this is like barely less suppressed. Wasn't she suppressed at like 280 or something? How is she going to less suppress herself and only give herself like 15 more points? What the heck is this? Um, I don't think she's really any any less suppressed than she was. Now here we go, Chopin. What is he going to be? Chopin at 44. That's big. That's big, dude. That's like that's that's like Aguero level. We're going to have a new crown game Aguero, I'm sure. And I'm still going to argue that nobody actually grew in that amount of time. But level, you know, 44 for Chopin. Sure. Fine. Um even then, I think that's actually a little a little powerful. Diod at 71. Now Diab was the one that was fighting Hatsu for a little bit, so I think it's fair to say that he is a little more powerful. Um, he really only fights Hatsu, but you know he he I guess puts up an okay fight. I'll I'll give this to him. I'll give that seventy one to. But again, we have to be like, wait, Aguero was that like we're saying Aguero and Rack are that weak? I don't think so. We're saying that suppressed or Quant is is weaker than Diod. Which is like the, like the suppressed ranker stuff is just truly insane. Um, that's that's the stuff I really disagree with in this video. Leo Cloaker, twenty one. I have I have no reason to disagree with this. You know, this is really actually shaping up to be like the best the best power ranking I've seen on YouTube so far. First Emperor ninety five. I love this guy. Why is he? He is not more powerful than Rack. I'm gonna put that out there. He just isn't. Um, like he he's he's weaker he's weaker than Rack you have to believe me on that, um he couldn't even get the he couldn't even get the super duper flame king punch which they cut, in the anime you can't I I can't believe they cut that scene in the anime that's literally my favorite scene, in all of season one and they cut it, but. This guy I I love this guy but I don't think he's at ninety five, I I think he's weaker than Rack I I think we're gonna have to cap him at like sixty. I would cap him at like 60 or 70. Now, what about less suppressed? Oh, full power Lore at 302. Full power Lore is, is bigger than heavily suppressed Han Sung. Watch out, Han Sung. Keep your guard up. Um, I disagree. Wait, do I disagree? No, no, I don't. Um, I am going to say again, you have to raise Aguero if you're going to make this guy unsuppressed and at 302 um but yeah it is what it is 302 i think is actually pretty fair for like a great family member because there should be a big difference between him now why does the one why does the why don't you include this in the last one sure sure he gets 362.4 where are you getting these numbers from but but you know i can't disagree with it angry anak jr i love this I love this, and I, I think this is um, I think this is okay. Now here's here's the big one: ignition green April Anak Jr. There's a chance that we're underselling Anak here, but for like this scale, since it is usually lower numbers for the regulars, I'm prepared to say this: like Anak Jr. with that ignition is you know what like twenty times more powerful than um. 20 times more powerful than like Leo Cloaker. Like yeah, I'm yeah, that's fine. Maybe that's a low ball. Actually, maybe it is a low ball if she's like as a hard princess, but uh, you know what? Like she's good. She is significantly more powerful than Lore. Now here we go with Rachel. 4 4 Rachel knows how to light bear. Rachel was a decent light bearer. You can't give her a 4. That's a little mean. But no, this is a, you know, I, I see where he's coming from. Weaker than Bond. Uh, it makes a little bit of sense. Um, we really, we really have, we really don't see her fight very much at all in season one. So this is, this is pretty fair to say, but since she does get lighthouse training, I'd put her a little higher up. Rosiel does not do a good enough job to get moved to 137, in my opinion. 
Um, it is nice that she had Shinsu control with that wand, but she really didn't put up that good of a fight. I don't think she should be above 100. And I really don't think she'd be anywhere near Lore at, at 362. Katan, 40. I don't know. Yeah. All right. I, I can't even use the arrow to, like, skip ahead because there are people on here for, like, two seconds. Like, you blink and you've been out. Kun Aguero Agnes with a wind attack at 225. That's See, that's that's some good base Kun power. Not not 40-something. 225 is decent base Kun power. He should be, like, ten times as strong as a normal guy, if not more. He is a lot more powerful than a regular person. Um, he does, you know, that is one of his abilities, and he has a lot more. Like, I think the biggest thing here that we're neglecting is that just great family members and princesses just have way stronger bodies than your average Joe in the tower, your average regular. So yeah, 225, that's that's a decent base power for Kuhn. Rosiel with the Shinsu attack. Now, why was Rosiel without Shinsu? Still, like, 120. Because that's the only power that Rosiel has. She only has the Shinsu attack. This, I, I don't believe this. Hyun, 79. I think we're, I think we're putting this guy a little bit high. Um, but he is a big dude. He's a little bit muscular. Uh, I'll, I, I don't have any major criticism for this one. Now, here we go. Leon, my man. Leon, 3, 129. Honestly, put this guy up to 900. This man's this man's one of the greatest tacticians in the tower. Now I have no idea. Um, one twenty nine. I also think we're see. I think like most of these regulars, like shouldn't be. I don't think they should be above a hundred. Like most of the minor characters, Chung Chung at ten. You know he really doesn't attack anyone, does he? Honestly, honestly he might just be uh, yeah he might just be ten. Sure. Rack with the spear toss. He had a spear earlier, didn't he? Didn't he have a spear in the beginning? Or something? I feel like he had a... No, he, he had something. He had a weapon. Why, why do I not remember the beginning of the comic? Um, But, like, he, he was already tossing spears and stuff in in the first fight. So he would still be... He, he would still be 164 then. But I think this is decent. Um, I would probably put him a little closer to Kuhn. I would actually... Maybe I'm highballing now for Rack, but I might put him around, like, 200. But even if I put him at, like, 200 and Kuhn goes to 200-something, then Anok is low. Or then Anok is low because she really should be um, significantly more powerful on her end, too. So, we'll see where that goes. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll just have to keep seeing in the future. Inoa, 10. I don't know what he does, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he is right. I'm going to say that's correct. Hoshi, 19. I'm loving I'm loving this development for these guys. Paturu, 14. Now, I don't know if it's right to say he's weaker than uh, Serena, but maybe. Lei Ara. How come this guy gets to 177? How come? I need the reason. I need the reason on this guy. I don't remember what he does. I don't even remember him existing. I need to know what he does. Red hair girl 11. Correct. Red hair girl is stronger than Rachel. Ucha 35. This guy looks like he came from the... This guy was literally in fucking chemistry class. And they were just like, hey, you want to go to the tower? Oh, yeah, I don't want to take this test anymore. Now here we go. Blorus 94. I don't think... I don't think anyone that fails hide and seek or whatever is 94. I actually, I think we're overselling Blarus, but she was, she was somewhat competent. I would probably put her closer to like 80 or 60. I don't think she's any more powerful than First Emperor for sure. I think First Emperor is kind of the peak fodder. Yes, 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 yes. Kukaku Rakukaku Ka, 180. He's, he's almost, he's, wait, is he saying he's stronger than a rack? What? What? Ah. I disagree with that decision. I disagree with that. Gray, 65. Now, Gray... Gray can do some insane stuff. Gray can, gray can make you go mad. Gray should be like 900. 
Grey can speak to you and break you. She knows your darp darkest secrets. She knows your deepest desires. Uh, she should be a little more powerful. I think she should be uh, closer to like the, the 80 level. Uh, I think looks can be deceiving here. Now, young at 120. Two swords, young. Pretty cool. Um, are we really prepared to say he's more powerful than Khan? I don't know about that. I would, again, put him below 100. Goon, 69. Why not? Why not? Nice. What about this guy? Uh, not this guy. Not, not, rat man. Not shield hero, man. Oh, I guess it is shield hero, man. Uh, rising of the shield hero. Uh, Raftalia gets, uh, 25. Yeah, why not? Now this guy, as Azadni, 17. He looks like, uh, the guy from Final Fantasy IX. Weaker than Lisu? Okay. Go back to Hajime no Ippo. Go back to go back to Mike Tyson punch out. Blue Stalin. Eighteen? Why not? Full power Huari oh, okay, here we go. Full power Huari Yun one thirty. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. Now here we go. Less suppressed Andro wait, was there? I'm sorry, did I miss um did I miss heavily suppressed Andrasi? I don't know. 295 for her? Um, no. I disagree with this. She's still going to be significantly more powerful than Anak under any circumstance. Because she has that full bloodline now. Shinsu Unleashed Bomb is a thousand. Uh-oh. That's a legit power level right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, Bomb with Shinsu does significantly shoot up. I don't know if Bomb with his Shinsu Unleashed does surpass Lore, who's still much more controlled and, like, has greater knowledge on how to summon that stuff. Um, frankly, we don't really we don't really know how powerful that bang that Bomb summoned was, but he has Black March anyway, so I think a, I think a thousand is probably pretty reasonable anyway. Now, Shinsu, it, okay, so if if he attacks with the Shinsu, it goes up to 1050. Why not? Uh, Suppress Lopo Bioren at 560. Um, all right, he's obviously much worse at suppression. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know about that. Ex immensely suppressed second. This is not even like, honestly, why even put this? Guardians don't even, as far as I'm aware, Guardians don't suppress themselves. Unless they really wanted... He had no reason to suppress himself in this circumstance. Um, yeah, I... There, there's no such thing as this. Um, this guy is like 20 trillion in power. Now this guy suppressed you, Buck Doll. See, it's... I don't know. Suppressed Akryung? When does he suppress himself? I, no, actually, he kind of does scale up his... Uh, he, he does scale up and down his power. That's actually correct. That's a good take. But I still think 300 is low. Suppressed hacks at 3-4. I think, honestly, I think hacks could destroy you, Bokdal. It's just my head cannon. Now, here we go. Shinsu training bomb at 75. I don't think this is true. Um, I think this this should be close to Shinsu unleashed bomb. I actually think he should be in the hundreds now. Shinsu training Ho at 43. Maybe. Well, I, I think the thing here is that Ho doesn't really get better with his training. I actually think Ho is going to stay the same. But now that I remember Ho can form kind of a crappy bang, maybe we were underselling Ho in the beginning. But he's still pretty low. I would still put him at like 60 or something, just because being a wave controller like at all does give you kind of an advantage. Now, here we go. Training in Dorsey, 322. Again, she doesn't really get that much more powerful. Um, so I, I think we're still big underselling her. Training Anak, 3... Oh, uh, yeah, see, these guys... In Dorsey is holding back a lot when fighting Anak. Um, so, like, yeah, I guess, you know, training in Dorsey may be just a way to say still suppressed in Dorsey. Um... But there is a bigger power gap here than is apparent. She just ha This is... Now, this is... This is probably... 
this I think is the is the point that I'm going to contend with most heavily. I don't think I, I think we're massively underselling an Jihad. Even if she was not a high ranker, which she almost definitely was, she has a ranker status, she has climbed the tower, and she has princess she has princess power, experience, um a big fat lizard tail to smack you around with. And yes, yeah, she's dead, but she is immensely powerful. And, and like, it's going to be like, this is going to be in the using a scale like this. We're going to be looking at tens of thousands. We're going to be looking at 10, like a scale in the tens of thousands, if not higher for, for a knock. Um, like probably, probably like, yeah, not, well, not higher than tens of thousands, but, like, in the 10,000-ish range, I would think. Now, here we go. Training Aguero. He doesn't get any weaker. He doesn't get any weaker. He just doesn't. Training Roseal, 202. Um, there's really not much that she does here. I don't... She's probably improved. She's probably improved, so... Sure. Sure. But we need to see... But, okay, but if she's at 202... Training Aguero is going to be so much stronger than that. Uh, training Aguero should, frankly, be at, like... I mean, he should be at, like, in, in the 300-ish, maybe 500 range. And then, of course, Andrasi and Anak, you know, by the time they get to hide and see, should be higher than that. Oh, we're going to finally see Hong Chunhua. I'm excited for that. Training Lisu. Now, I don't know if he really gained that much power. Like, they're saying... I know it's a small number still, but that's saying, like, he, like, at least doubled his power. And I don't know if I agree with that. Now, if we go to Alexei, 142. Um, maybe. Maybe. I think he's still going to be more powerful. He's kind of a scary guy. And he does... I mean, this guy is powerful enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Viol for a little while. In, um... And, well, the old has bad physical skills anyway in, in Workshop. Um, but I think we're underselling him. I think he should be... I, I think this, should, this guy should be near Rack. Maybe a little weaker. And he can fly. Look at his wings. Now, Quant. Here we are. Quant, less suppressed at 445. One bang Quant. Maybe. Maybe. I see it. Um... We just have to remember that full quant should probably be in the thousands. Anok Jr. So this is this is the legit Anok Jr. at 356. Um, I uh, I still think I still think relatively she should be like significantly stronger than Aguero, which he does he does keep that consistent kind of in a relative sense here, but he's still underselling Aguero. I would put Anak Jr. at this point, you know, above 400 or something. And I put Andrasi, like, near 500, maybe. We'll see. Well, we'll see where he puts her anyway. Now, training Dede Concho at 34. This is this is quite the growth for him. Um, he might be a little bit stronger, but I, I think that's okay. I think it's fine. Blarus at 154. She made it. Um... She doesn't even pass hide and seek. I don't know if I don't know if well maybe it's different in the anime. I kind of forget. I don't think Blarus is that strong though. That's unfortunate. Now Shins to attack Rosiel two forty two. Okay, we are overselling Rosiel. Um, I don't know if we're overselling. We're relatively overselling Rosiel, but she does have that wave controller boost. That's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, she also fails hide and seek. So I do think we're overselling her relatively, especially when you compare it to like Aguero. Again, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it again. Aguero is like Aguero should be like a pretty good milestone for like powerful characters on floor two, and and Max, you've you've chosen to make him a lot weaker than I, I think he should be. More training bomb. So this is I guess after hide and seek. I don't know if he is this weak. He should be I think near Rosiel. Because he does have that incredible talent, and we're we're going, you know, we're going with some good stuff now. Hot's at 288. This is okay, but we do have to give an uh, I think I said this earlier, a bigger power gap there. Now here we go, Machi. Now this is interesting. This is really interesting because they they do they do a, a big switcheroo 
they do a big switcheroo in the anime. So Machi here is is a combination of two characters. Machi in the webtoon and Des Lion. Des Lion went with now both of these guys are, are big jerks. But Des Lion went with Androssi and Chunhua. Um and he was the one with this turtleneck. He had this stylish turtleneck. Um and he went with Androssi. He was a big simp for Androssi. And Machi, who has the same face as this man, and has his name, I guess. I guess they just you know gave Machi the other guy's shirt. Machi ha uh, went with Parakul and participated in the Spear Bear Revolution. Now, at 29, at 29, that's probably uh, pretty, pretty legit. Pretty legit. Assuming this is, yeah, assume, assuming this is the, the Revolution Machi. I don't remember which one. Now, training Ho, 55. I don't think Ho got any more powerful again, so I actually think we're overselling Ho. It's unfortunate. Hong Chun Watt, 77. This, it, he should be stronger. Um, he should be well over 100. Remember, he has the ignition weapon. He has an armada. So he is going to get a significant boost from the... Oh, you know, maybe, there, maybe he's going to have... There we go. He's still too weak to me. I know he's getting clapped by Androssi. But he's still too weak. Uh, remember that Androssi's a princess. And he did manage to put up a decent fight against her. So he should actually be above 200. He should still be significantly weaker than Aguero. But I think this guy with his ignition weapon. I think he would be near a little weaker than where Rack is at this point. If we really wanted to push it we could save Max. Now see you. Okay. Uh, see, okay, all right. Yeah, see, this is this is more this is more where I'd put him, with the ignition attack. So that's nice. All right, now ignition weapon and Dorsey. Now she should actually get a much bigger boost. Um, so I'm just gonna skip to the igniting attack, five seventy nine point six. This is still weak for Androsi. I think with Narmada, she should probably be above six hundred or seven hundred maybe. I, I think she would be a lot more powerful. She has a significant advantage already for the princesshood. She already has a body that's described to be like, you know, like tens and hundreds of times stronger than that of a normal regular. She already has absolutely superior physical abilities, and now she has an ignition weapon. So she's going to have a huge boost over anyone. She's going to be at least like, you know, I mean, she's really going to be at least. She's, honestly, if I was like really thinking about it, she would be, I mean, she would be over a thousand at this point. Um, but we're not doing that. Less suppressed quant at 720. He doesn't get less suppressed in this, is the thing. Like, he's still under the same limitations. So he's he should be the same, but I, I think that's still okay. Now, here we go. Shinsu attack bomb at 119. We're still underselling bomb. And the fact that he can learn reverse flow control at this point does put him well over 200. Honestly, he should be at least 300 at this point, in my opinion. Now, what if we go to low Pobia Ren at 885 at less suppress? Maybe. I think we're given Ren's monster at 500. I think Ren's monster should be more powerful than this. Um, what does Han Sung look like? Less suppressed Han Sung Yu at 950? It's like, I don't know. The bull at 161? Um... Oh, let me think about this. No. The bull should be much more powerful. Um, the bull can choke out Androssi. Uh, the bull, yeah, the bull can, like, choke out Androssi. It can do a lot of complex things. Um, and it can kill, it can kill most people easy. So the bull is being, uh, the bull is being big undersold here. Now, what about full power ran at 930 is such an undersell. He should be in the thousand. In this scale, he should be in like the two thousand range or something, maybe. Um, like he and Han Sung both are gonna be way more powerful at their full power. So Ren, Ren is definitely above a thousand. I mean, he like he's definitely, definitely above you know, Bomb Shinsu. Oh, but we have, and there we have it. He's above the Bomb Shinsu as long as he's doing his attack unstable Ren at 1860 he just keeps going Ren's monsters 500 each I think we are underselling these monsters uh, I think they should be probably at least like 800 or 900 um 1860 
that's pretty close to what I want to see ran at. I want to see ran at over 2,000 personally. Um, but, and even then, you know, even if we have ran at over 2,000, that only puts him at like four times as strong as Andrasi or something, and that's still underselling Ren a lot as a ranker. Remember, rankers are supposed to be living gods. So, unless this is a logarithmic scale, which it could be, and that... Now, if it was a logarithmic scale, I'd have... Honestly, that would solve, like, so many of the things that I'm saying about this. But, on, like, a logarithmic scale, you know, 2,000 works. It's a big it's a big step up. But Yuri, less suppressed at 6,300. Now, this, this is what I'm... This is what I've been waiting to see. This makes a lot of sense. What about full power, Yuri? Sun Wu, 34. Now, as an anima, I think we actually have to give Sun Wu some more credit here. I think she's going to be above 100 at this point, but just like a little above 100. She's still not that good of a fighter, but she does have very useful and unique abilities. So, I think we're going to I think we're going to put her a little bit higher. Now Hotsling suppressed at 542. What about what about Lightning Barrage, Lopo Bioran. Okay, well, I don't care about that. Suppressed Kurudan at 2300. Uh, isn't he still... I, you know, he might not be a high ranker, I don't remember. Um, he's got a couple of wings. 2300. I... Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, I don't know if he's as powerful as Ren. I don't actually know if he's as powerful as Ren. Remember, Ren was already, um... Oh, let's see. He might be more powerful than Ren. He, no, you know what? No, he could be more powerful than Ren. Um, sure. Sure, 2300. Now, here we go with a wild bull at 231. We're still underselling him. Now, here we go. Bomb releasing. I'm going to I'm gonna go through... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep this up. Bomb at Shinsu power increasing at... Oh, we don't get to see full Yuri. But I think that's fair. I think that's fair. She is going to be off the charts if she's full power. Um... And we don't get to see what a more full Yuhan Sung looks like either, but that's okay too. I think that Bomb here is going to be at least 500 myself. I think what he does to the bull does take a good amount of power. But, you know, compared to like princesses and stuff, of course he's weaker. So I can understand why, I, I can understand why the choice was made to bring him, um, to bring him to this level. Oh, oh, we do have a couple of uh, other things that I seem to have missed. We just have one. The Barnacle Goblins, 50 each. Um, yeah. Did I miss Paracool? All right, the last thing I'm going to do is try to find Paracool in this video. Where is he? Where is he? He should be. He could be anywhere, honestly, at this point. Oh, there he is. There he is. Paracool at 53? I see no problem with this. Honestly, I think this is the best tier list that I've covered, or the best power ranking that I've covered. Um, there is still, of course, a lot of things that I disagree with, but overall, I think the relative scale of a lot of these regulars was a bit understated, but like the the general power level is there. Like the general sense of who is stronger than who is there. And it is pretty consistent. So I want to thank Supermax for uh, asking me to rate this one. Um, this was a pretty enjoyable experience. And I'm really glad I'm really glad that he gave uh, some power levels, especially with such granularity, um, to the minor characters. I also think it's really cool that he experimented with some, um, some time series stuff. Uh, I would like to see more of this, and I know there's another one that I can look at later. Uh, I would encourage you guys to leave your thoughts, uh, not only in my comments, but to watch this video, give him, give him some love too, um, and, and, you know, maybe say what you think, and of course, be nice and respectful. Um, but, you know, give your thoughts in his comments as well. Uh, remember, be nice and respectful. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. And this is not the 69 subscriber special. That's different. That's super special. So see you guys.